Golf carts and utility vehicles are one way people in Westville get around, but after last night's village board meeting, some requirements for owners are changing, including what's needed for safety. Twelve changes to Westville's golf cart ordinance were on the table this week. First changes must provide proof of current liability insurance. Ranging from turn signal requirements to where drivers are allowed to cross Route 1. But two changes in particular weren't sitting well with some. Well, I make a motion that we adopt the ordinance that does not include seatbelts or a flashing light. The village originally proposed requiring seat belts for every passenger in the vehicle for safety reasons. That won't be happening. The back seat, I think, is where it was really kind of needed because that's where we've seen people, too many people riding and holding babies. The concern one trustee had was cost. I'm hearing of close to $200 for seat belts installed. Plus the flashing lights. The mayor says that ties the hands of police. If they get stopped, or the accident happens, the police have no recourse. I mean, they don't have the seat belts, they don't have to have them, so they're, they're, they're no violation. The other safety measure shot down was a light that's supposed to be visible from every side of the vehicle. That way, they're seen while crossing Route 1. Some say their golf cart already has that. Me, myself, several other people, my cart's got over 3,000 LED lights on it. You can see it from the side, the back, the front. Todd Walbley says he added them not just for his safety, but also for his family. I put lights on my cart because when me and my daughter drive around at night, there's a lot of times it's more for me to be over to see. And when I have a kid on my cart, I want everybody to be over to see me. But he also says that did come at an extra cost. Some people can't afford to put all the extra lights on their cart. The ordinance passed by a 4-1 to one vote, and it will take effect on April 17th. The board agreed to allow people to use both golf carts and utility vehicles at any time of day or night. The Westville Police Department says it has not had any crashes on Route 1 involving golf carts, but they have had some close calls.